My next guest is a wonderful guy you uh, you enjoyed for for many years on McHale's Navy. His name is Tim Conway, and he's out of the Navy tonight, but he's still in uniform. Yet yeah, tonight he wears the uniform of the leader of the small nation of Parma, a quiet, peaceful little nation that has abolished the threat of war and found the secret of a lasting peace. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mr. Dag Herford. Mr. Herford. Tunic. Tunic? The, the, does that mean hello in your country? Uh, no, it means tunic. You're sitting on my tunic. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mr. Herford. I understand uh, you uh, are King Anderson's brother. In other words, you're, you're really a prince. Well, thank you. You're not bad yourself. <laughs> a little tall. Yeah, well, Mr. Herford... In the past hundred years, there have been many major conflicts in the world. How do you account for the fact that Parma was never engaged in uh, any of these wars? Well, nobody asked us. <clears throat> During a lot of the wars, they just sat around read magazines. Oh. Do you have an army? Well, yes, we do, as a matter of fact. Uh, we have 3,000 women in the army. Uh, they're all privates, and uh, we have 11 men. <clears throat> 3,000 women are privates. Well, what are the men? Well, they're pretty happy. Pretty happy. Yeah, yeah. Man, so. Uh, we never have any trouble with lights out. I'll tell you oh, that. Oh, <laughs> I, I imagine a lot of them spend their leave time in the barracks. <laughs> yeah, right. Sure. Do you, uh, you have an Air Force? Uh, yes, we do. As a matter of fact, uh, we have 800 members of the Parma Royal Air Force. Well, I was told that you don't have any airplanes in Parma. Oh, well, we don't. Uh, but I hate to tell the cadets. They've already hired the hall for the spring formal. <laughs> hate to break the news to them. I know. Well, how do you teach them to fly if you don't have an airplane? Uh, well, what we do is we have this 100-foot tower, see? And all the cadets get up there, and we strap wings to their arms, and then they jump off that tower. Well, where do they land? Uh, in a pile at the bottom, the bottom of the tower. Bottom of the whole thing. <laughs> thing down there. Well, what does that teach him? Well, it teaches him not to jump off that tower. <laughs> That's kind of stupid. Do you have a navy? Uh, no, we don't, but we have uh, six soldiers that can float. <laughs> what they do is they put can openers in their mouth and attack ships. Well, what kind of weapons do you have, you know? Well, we have some uh, pretty good weapons. Actually, uh, here's our... Uh, Best weapon. Now we call this here our gun. <laughs> well, it looks like an ordinary rock to me. How, do, how does it work? Well, I'll uh, show you. Uh, see, when you see the enemy coming towards you, what you do is you take this gun and you throw it at him and yell bang. <clears throat> We're working uh, on another advanced model. Same thing, uh, only with a silencer. <clears throat> Well, how does that new thing with the sound, how's that work? Oh, uh, the same way, only you don't yell bang. <laughs> you just whisper snarf. Oh, snarf. <laughs> that ought to get him. Tell me, have, you, have your people ever tried to overthrow you? Oh, no. No, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, they wouldn't take that chance. Uh, <clears throat> you can't see them, but right now there are eight bodyguards in this room that are uh, protecting me at all times. Oh, I don't see them. Well, no, you, you wouldn't, you see, but... Uh, if anything were to go wrong, uh, they'd jump right out. <clears throat> Come right in. Here, I'll show you. Watch him spring right out. He's got a knife. See how they come right out of the, uh, right out of the uh, woodwork, uh, jumping into action full fold. <clears throat> he's, he's got a knife and a gun. Notice how they uh, get ar around you. And, uh... <laughs> he's got his thumb in my eye. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe they're on their lunch hour. You know, I mean... <laughs> Well, that's kind of dangerous, isn't it? Well, not really. I can kind of handle myself. Uh, well, you can? I'm an expert in karate. If anybody oh. were to come at me, I, I'll break them right karate? in half. Karate? Oh, sure. Well, do you, you know, you don't look that rough to me. No, no. I'll give you a little example. Here. I'll tell you what. Just hang on to that board there. Just hold it right up. Now, suppose the guy were going to attack me. Just watch this. Ha! Ha! <clears throat> Let me see that on there. Oh, boy. Well, it sure has been nice talking to you, Mr. Herford. Well, you know? thank you very much. Oh, excuse me. There's the phone. <laughs> I gotta get it. 
fixed. Oh, yeah, you better. <laughs> sure. uh, hello? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, send him right in. Yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Boy, I have to present some medals to the troops. Um, they'll be coming in any minute. So I wonder if you'd help me out a little bit. Yeah. I'd be happy to. What do I do? These are the troops? Yeah, uh, yeah that's right. <laughs> all right. Now, they're all to be congratulated if you just uh, congratulate them while I read the citation. <laughs> oh, all right. Attention, fellas. <clears throat> Uh, for distinguished service to our country. <laughs> and the uh, people, we normally just shake hands uh, and then uh, pass on. To the country and to, to the nation. Uh, way we proudly present. Pres An older fella did it last week and he just kept moving right on. It's, uh, with this merit of metal that we hope that you will keep peace and harmony within our co country. And, Oh, to, and me, we always <laughs> keep uh, peace with dinner. Thank you very much, Dave. Congratulations. <coughs> uh, that was Dave? Yeah. <laughs> and so... <laughs> okay, Leonard. Uh, <laughs> and so, may we always say that... Uh, huh? <clears throat> smoke if you got them. <laughs> that... Uh, <laughs> peaceful nation around us will always be protected yeah. by these stalwart men. And, uh, uh, he has KP in the morning. Uh, so, so. We don't like to keep him out late. And so, may we... <clears throat> say, uh, say, do you want to read a while? Uh, uh, not too much, come on. And so may we all always keep our country fair. For, for, <clears throat> where are you getting this stuff from? It's supposed to be a dry nation. I didn't know that. Right now. Hup, two, one, two, one, two, one. We're all out. He did calls. You tell him I'm busy with the troops. Get your troops. Gee, he didn't even stick around for refreshments. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat>